So this is a kind of isometric and we are going to create a 3D model in SOLIDWORKS with the help of this view. So let's start with this side view. This is the, we are going to take this one as a uh, front uh, rear view. We will take as a rear view. You will see the length 5 inch. Now this side there is a vertical length 1 inch and this is 1.5 inch. You will see here all dimensions in inch. Okay. Now then there is one step 2 inch, 1 inch, 1.4 depth here. Okay. This radius we are not, we are going in to do in next step. So this is, this is the vertical, this vertical line is the center line between these two. So here we have a curve. This one we will create at the end. Uh, we will extend this one. We will also extend this one up to the center line. Okay. Now here first we have to change units. Just click drop down the menu IPS in chess. Now first let me choose any one plane. So I am going with right plane a sketch. Now let's activate line tool. Okay, this is the R1 point, so I am going to do like this. Okay. Now activate smart dimension. First, let's activate uh, apply outer diameter dimension 5 inch. This vertical one 1.5 inch. 1 inch. Okay. Now the distance from here to this point 2 inch. And this one 1 inch. Now here also the depth 0.4 inch. Look. Now this is not defined so we will keep this. Find out the center point. Hold shift key. Select this point. Vertical relation. Now this is fully defined sketch. Now simply activate extruded boss base tool. Now keep end condition blind or even though let's keep mid plane now that thing is uh, 3 2.3 millimeter see it is going to move in both side say okay look before going to cut this circle let's make this one 1.188 inch you will see here angle 30 degree and uh, you will see one more distance here look carefully this are the construction line on this plane this plane it's 1.3 millimeter from this circle and this is parallel because here also 30 degree here also 30 degree 1.4 millimeter is the width and uh, there is a four number of holes 1 by 4 into 20 this is the thread unc it is in inches 1 by 4 is to 20 and uh, depth is here 0.5 inch then uh, distance 1.4 and 0.4 from this end let's make this hole 0 0.375.75 okay and uh, distance 0.44 and uh, 0.75 from this end so go to hole wizard, choose here hole. Now standard is inch, drill, dowel hole and the hole size is 3.75 so it's 3 by 8 inch. Depth. Point seven five up to shoulder. We don't need any countersink. Position. Just click this face. Click here. Activate smart dimension. Now distance. Point forty four. Now distance point seven five millimeter. Say OK. Look, select back surface, 
sketch i'll take this position line and now i am going to make a connect up to here now this length 1.88 inch now distance from here to this one 1.3 inch and uh, let's make the angle 30 degree see this is fully defined sketch but this is open not closed so what we will do we will we are going to make closed geometry so okay let's use line tool up to here escape key to out again press l key in your keyboard and activate line tool connect from this end to this end this is fully defined this case even no need to trim this one extrude now here two close geometries i have to choose one two 1.4 is the length but make reverse direction see it's going inside say okay now let's make this cut out 1.5 radius and the bottom distance from bottom point to this line 0.12 and the center point of this the center of this you will see and cut up to this face and this all holes going to apply a sketch line now 1.5 means 3 mm is the diameter i'll put somewhere at the bottom point one is star now i am going to define this to 0.125 inch 12 inch select the center point of this or even let's make line draw up to here click the line vertical see this is fully defined this sketch activate extruded cut tool here in end condition choose surface and i'll choose this surface say yes look it's cut but still there is one obstacle so go to direct editing right click tabs and here you will find direct editing delete face now click here i want to delete these two faces delete and patch means delete this and patch okay look perfectly fine whole wizard now here i am going to make thread so a straight tap inches tap the bottoming hole and this is 1 by 4 into 20 1 by 4 20 blind now this depth is 0.5 now here thread also keep up to the end position click this face now now before going to create let me draw center rectangle uh the vertical length 1.4 tap 0.8 now click here for construction because it help us to draw now let's make this one center line connect this center point to center of this make vertical the similar way we have to do find out center point okay this is the center point of line this next center point this one see click line horizontal relation see this is fully defined this sketch now click this star point and you will get your tool now place at four places isometric view right click now you will see the preview say okay now it's not visible the cosmetic thread so go to options documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread say okay look now let's make here hole this whole radius 
and depth of this point 12 okay now there is another one point 6 point 3 one side means point 6 and this depth point 3 so select this face sketch now let me okay let's create a center line center line help us to uh, horizontal now this is the center point for this face now this radius 0.5 point 0.5 radius actually diameter is 1 now activate rectangle tool going to create from here to here now overall length 0.6 center point 3 inch now activate extruded cut tool first choose this circle and here make line and depth point 12 inch look again select sketch extruded cut and here i am going to click this rectangle you will just choose a line and you will see depth 0.3 inch say yes now look edges are not sharp so go to documents property image quality and keep higher now see it's become sharp now here we are going to create a counter bore hole you will see this diameter point 3125 the center hole throughout and there is a counter bore diameter 0.5 and depth 0.25 there is two hole distance 1.3 0.5 point 0.5 from both side so hole wizard counter bore hole here choose counter bore now the first diameter 0.3125 now second one we have to choose through all no need to define the depth the third one is 0.05 diameter and depth is 0.025 position select this face now place one two escape key to out first define the main di di dimensions 1.3 in 0.5 Point five, and uh, let's make one more relation. Hold Shift key and select both horizontal. Now this is fully defined. Isometric view. You will see it's going throughout. Look. so this is how we did a simple exercise in solid works with the help of isometric view if you like please subs subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching